I have not uh, played, obviously, nor have I even seen anybody play in this. Not that I'm the only person on Earth who knows it exists, obviously, but I'm just saying I haven't uh, spoiled myself on it. So we'll be playing this today. I have very little idea what it's about. Let's begin. You're listening to Radio August. August police are appealing for information following the murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw. Well, it's terrible news because it's December. You need to learn when to keep your mouth shut. Well, <laughs> excuse me, sir. I am as God made me. Exactly. Rewind. I didn't realize I was engaging in, in high art here. This game is... it's... Rashomon is not afraid to play with your perception of time. Garbage can. <laughs> the dead girl. And this. This is my permanent record? What exactly were you thinking? Look, back then everyone was doing it. Coney 2012. Don't get caught. If you didn't send in 25 bucks, what do you support? Ugandan warlords? This? Is who you are now. Understood? It's not just a phase. Understood? Wow! Yeah. Choice is an illusion. If someone so much as sniffs that you're different, you'll be deprecated. Oh no. Deprecated. <laughs> We expect you to use your at deprecated in chat, please. Get. Perhaps the murder will bring some tourists in. Well, that's macabre. It's just you and some tarot readers at the moment. Your room is just down the hall, last on the left. It has its own back door. The chief said that's the way you'd like it. <laughs> Excuse me. Is this game horny? Just finishing. Hi, I'm Bronwyn. Wrong. Bronwyn, pleased to meet you. You're Emma. Me What's your question, Sam? I'm glad to hear that they didn't hire a new sound engineer. But I know you're in room four, Sam. Don't do anything I wouldn't do in there. Like a non-functional wooden Jeez. Yeah. She's happy, like a like steel trap. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna explain. This is social <laughs> engineering 101. Use... I guess the way that I explore every hotel room Get a close-up of every single wall and then stare at the bed. I'm Sam! Well, we both know that's not true. But I like it. Sam. That's your cover now. I know who did it, but I need proof. It's the tarot readers. I like the idea that it's Dorota Shaw is like... No, but really her name's Dorota? Yes. <laughs> Dorito! Up, what on earth is this angle? It was in the local paper. I'm more of a Bon Jovi fan myself. <laughs> yeah, do you have an alibi for last night? Do, do I have an alibi for last night? Do I? Okay. You got I'm me. Anytime I get the chance to garbage well, can, pills, I'm going to garbage I can. Already know. Not really. I'm sure she was a precious lamb, though. Oh, what an incredibly strange thing to say. Lambs get slaughtered, though, don't they? All right, you're going to be in a game, and it's like a digital noir. You're going to be playing one of the six femme fatales. I thought she was a bit slutty, to be honest. Good Lord. I'm gossiping. I don't want to We don't be Ill get a lot of men in this neighborhood. Ask her boyfriend. Just tarot card readers of a fertile age. I don't know, Dr. Sam. You tell me. Well, I mean, you're the one taking the pills. I mean, I get that you're defensive about it, but simultaneously, you know, you're putting them into your body. I don't know. Let's get weird. Let's visit, uh... You must be a new guest. Or you're burglaring us. Will Forte. I'm Rain, by the way. Jeans are too short. I, there's so many red flags here. Austin haircut. Ben Gibbard's younger brother. Jeans are too small. He's freaking me out. You're completely barking up the wrong tree there. <laughs> it's like the world's oldest nine-year-old. 
It's freaking me out. I'd have to be possessed to murder anything. Do you believe in possession, Sam? You know, there's more than just one form of possession, Sam. So that thing I would have to be to do the murder? It's real, by the way. A group reading, actually. With a special tarot deck. It's uh, called the 9mm Beretta tarot deck. Just getting positively twisted. Last night, you wouldn't believe it. The three of us got together. We all did tarot readings together. Until the hot water shut off at nine, and then I had to take a cold shower. You'd have the question, so you'd be the querent. With <laughs> Excuse me, sir. The question and the answer. I get that we're in a rural neighborhood, change. but... I was in my room. Dutch praying, angle. actually. I don't believe in God, but I was still praying. Seems like you need a hobby. Sam, is it? Come on in. Make yourself at home. Mi casa es su casa. Mi guest casa es su guest casa. Yeah, just take a seat on the bed for our bizarrely perpendicular interrogation. I don't know anyone in this town, except for Bronwyn and Rain, obviously. It's half the population! The Do you know what the most dangerous tarot card is? Mm, the tower? I have to pick the happy squirrel, because these two are... they're actually just good, so... The Five of Swords? I think so anyway. <laughs> I haven't had that one yet. more dangerous than someone taking whatever they want, no matter the cost. I gotta wait for lateral birth. No. It's like Austin's no. No! We have a job to do. Does it seem like it? I didn't say job. I said job. Am I having a stroke? Cheese obelisk. A job. I love that, like, the more you talk, you know, she's like a steel trap, and then you get into these interstitials, and sometimes she's like pulling her hair out. And she's like, ah! <laughs> Sam! It feels a bit sacrilegious just spreading it out to show you. Uh, phrasing? So I can become one of them? Alright. So what we're gonna, we're gonna become... Lexi. Oh! <laughs> No, I won't visit Lexi. Your head's gonna explode. Something's on your mind. Hey, remember that murder we did last night? I'm worried. Bronwyn might get falsely imprisoned. It happens all the time. Someone's been watching Netflix. You looking to take over? All right. Toyota's boyfriend well, seems sweet. Let's do a bluff. Miss Taylor, is that oh. a contradiction? It's not what you said. It's an Taylor. Easter egg. Sorry, I meant no. He said the word. Yes, yes he did. <laughs> He's still getting us. Even now. I've got my eye on you, Lexi Taylor. Lexi. Rain. Are they even your real names? We stole them from my favorite K-pop group. Yo. I better shapeshift back. I'm going to be stuck in the warg forever. Hi, I'm Lexi. Whoops. My bad. I thought I was going to her room. My mistake. And the beat goes... <laughs> I clicked return to Sam, didn't I? God! <laughs> Something doesn't feel right. Maybe it's the haircut? I don't know what exactly, but... It's the haircut. Do you think it's another right? A right? As All in right. the same thing we were chasing after in Birmingham? Birmingham? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Bronwyn, it's a... Uh, what is Birmingham? Yes, stop it. If it's a traveler killing things. It's a very bold yeah. choice. Uh, to have the, like, close-up shots not actually get closer, but just utilize the 4X opti optical zoom on the Nikon cool pics. You look strong enough to strangle another woman, too. Well. Thank you. you. For your rooms, you might just I have been out. working out. <laughs> People are always complimenting me on my, on my prodigious forearm strength. How's Bronwyn been? Overly nice. She's covering her tracks. Well. <laughs> you should just play yeah, as Jenks. <laughs> what we? Lord, we've been. I told you, it's I a open and shut case. I don't remember. My diary, and there's no entry, so I was. What kind of crazy sure. person remembers what they were doing last night? Don't try and get me to contradict myself. Okay, one was cute. Two was a little. You're a, a con artist, at least. I haven't asked anyone for a penny. 
Oh, well, indeed she got me. <laughs> it talks about loss and dealing. With Go fish. Loss. I don't think you need a tarot reader to interpret that one. You don't think I need a tarot reader to oh, interpret the, a card called the Five of Cups? Not since I've met her. She's a lawful good type character. <laughs> She's an Aquarius. Her favorite color is green. What else do you need to know? Not very bright, are you, Lexi? Why are you here in August? This is where the cards told us to go. I guess you could call it destiny. I pulled the eight of months, and here is we are. Anyone here? And sometimes a girl needs a party. Amen, sister. What were you doing last night? Don't talk to me until I've had my Chardonnay. But do I have to? Hello. Hi, I'm Rain. Every time we go to one of the ladies' rooms, Rain, I told you, get the fuck out! Rain, don't come here! I told you, after the sun goes down, you're not to be in contact with us. <laughs> as far as Sam's concerned, me and Lexi were together and you were praying in your room. It's half true, at least was the best alibi we could come up with. Can you picture these guys trying to get their stories straight? Yeah, and then Rain will say that he's praying. Rain's like, all right, but I'm not gonna say that I'm a believer. Oh, well, my bad. You should know by now, Rain, with a haircut like that, you gotta drive the conversation. People aren't gonna meet you halfway. Rain, I'm busy. <laughs> Are you turn yourself in? Yeah. You don't want to see me when I'm angry. Play card games somewhere else or whatever the hell it is you do. What if Rain really did kill her, though? <laughs> I killed her. Don't just fuck off, Rain! My mistake. I feel like everything kind of falls apart when they're at, like, breakfast tomorrow and they're all talking about the conversations they they had with one another that the other person was not privy to that's weird it seems like every single one of us talked to every single one of us and we only share uh 50 of the memory right now the devil you're letting yourself be manipulated by someone plus 1.5 damage or maybe it means you're having fantastic sex he came through the shadows? Yeah, it's about having a threesome with what a ghost. Makes you think? An unexpected pleasure. How long are you planning to be Play here? it cool, man. You got this awesome haircut. Ladies would be lucky to have you. Tarot cards can tell you a lot when you know you're looking for them. Yeah, like for example, if you have four of your friends over and you draw the five of cups. Yeah, exactly. I think I might be the killer. Have you, have you stopped taking the pills? Look, just take the pills. I'm being subtle. I yeah, I know you have you, schizophrenia, okay? but I'm busy. Get out of here. Questions, question after question. Well, this is a question. subtle depiction of mental <laughs> illness. But for now, TTFN. Talk to you freaking oh. never. Ta-ta for now. <laughs> yeah, talk to you Fortnite. Tr <laughs> Tilted Towers Fortnite. Get at showers. Best take an umbrella, Monroe, so you don't get wet. I like getting wet. No, that's six o'clock with Poe and Monroe. <laughs> Visit Oscar. Who are you? Who are you? What the heck is this? The it's the intern who programmed the game. Now I'm sitting, in the, sitting in the closet. In the closet. Watching this dude in Dorito. Yeah, it's big enough for two people to have sex in. Uh. No My man, you don't have to say it. She did like to be choked to death. She lived with her mum and dad. You didn't do it, Sam. Well, uh, perhaps I should have made a mistake. Ah, don't beat yourself up over it. Well, yep, that's her elbow. There it is, right there. All right, weirdo. Rain says he was praying in his room, alone. Nobody corroborates. Well, I guess I'll just go talk to God then. In the same room last night. Violet says she doesn't remember last night, but I've got that in hand. <laughs> it's not so, suspicious in the least. She flaunts herself. Wow. Her body. Her boudoir photographs taken. Ask Zach Weston. 
he took them. The masks we wear. I could be a satanic cultist behind closed doors, but you'd never know, would you, Sam? Oh, she gets easily confused. I believe it. Youth of today. Wow, okay, I mean, you didn't have to throw the baby out with the bathwater on that one. If these walls weren't separating our rooms, then technically, it'd be true. It's a very creative way to think about it. Well, in many ways, aren't we all in the same room? The room that is planet Earth? Rain's a big boy, he can handle himself. He doesn't have Besides, a big boy haircut. Oh, Sam. You know I can't do that. Tarot reader, client confidentiality. That is... I want to take issue with that, because that is not a thing that exists. What can I do for you? I got you this gift certificate to Supercuts. A lot of the time, it comes up with nothing. Or a sordid comment directed at Lexi. Wow. I think that's why she keeps using it, to be honest. Ah, yes, Ouija. You're my only friend. Most people believe Ouija boards contact them. Mm. So if Lexi contacts a dead person, that person needs to know what happens in the future. Ergo, maybe the person she's contacting is from the future. A time traveler who died here. <laughs> um, pardon me? Well, not just time travel, time and space travel. Well, I knew the space possible. part, buddy. If we accept the fact there are multiple realities, we must also accept there are others like us who found a way to travel between these realities. That's the end of this line of reasoning? I told them the truth, that I was in my room. Praying to a god, I don't I'm believe not sure it. I'm sure they can fact check it, but it's the only alibi I've got. Kind of wish we'd all stuck together now. Yeah, but you I see, it was very important that we all be in one place and you be separated by yourself. Hi, Sam. Back for more already. Pardon? The spirit world is actually several hours ahead of us. That's how we get messages about things that haven't happened yet. That's how we got Dorota's name. So the spirit, the spirit world, world... She was already dead. ...is Australia. Cheeky. Are you flirting with me? Am I? Oh dear, am I blushing again? There's a murder to solve. Maybe you should do that first, then me. No, 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 not like that. <laughs> I'm dead. Bro. Who wrote this? This is like Facebook Messenger. We're both here in the guest house. We just happen to be in different rooms. If I had proof, Ron wouldn't have made this all up. <laughs> if I could corroborate. My alibi, I wouldn't have had to make one up, stupid. Women like vulnerable men. Debate. Do they? I don't know. Do I look like vulnerable men? Oh, Just, fair enough. I've got to concentrate on some other leads. It looks like he's so, uh, playing in his fantasy football team. And then, now we know that the alibis are screwed up. Ah, I did it again! I wouldn't be surprised if there's cameras hidden in the wardrobe. So they could hide? see the inside of the doors? Nothing. Though I'd rather she didn't see me dancing around in my underwear. I only do that for people I love. Do you um, love me? Well, of course I do, Bron. See? And now that's... Ah, uh, we have fun you here. That, Violet. I'm just kidding. I was here all night. I was at Dorota's house. No. No, you weren't. I don't know why you're saying that, but I know Bronwyn Castle and she's no murderer. Just drop the act. We're just gonna gaslight <laughs> Lexi into thinking that Bronwyn's the killer. Then as Sam, Lexi's gonna be like, hey, Bronwyn's the killer. And we'll arrest her. Open and shut case, boys. Oh, I heard she was found by her mother. Truly awful. Mother caught me up to all sorts of mischief in my bedroom. Sorry, we're closed. Come back tomorrow or make an appointment online. By the way, how did you get into my office? I didn't force her to do anything. Alright, so if you could say I didn't force her to do anything and then give the camera your best scumbag look. Oh, another one here. Ooh, basically took about 30 or 40 of the exact same photo. Do you see what I see? Nothing. She's just a very attractive girl. Yeah, well... <laughs> 
Yeah, bro. She's hot. Anyway, I am investigating her murder. What do you mean? I know Violet very well. <laughs> the look on his face. Oh, man. The directing is so good. It's every line is like a double entendre. Mm, yes. I heard she buried the knife in quite deeply, detective. Mm? Violet takes it very... See? Okay. It's like, yo, you're fucking. I'm sorry, my analogy wasn't explicit enough for you. I like it when my penis goes into her vagina. Only the roof rats. What the hell is a roof rat? That's what he says, but no one can back him up. What about the roof rats? All right. What the fuck? <laughs> I met him yesterday. Oh no. Um, he, he did, did mention, mention something the about the murder. <laughs> he said there was this girl he was planning to meet up with. Forgot about mentioning that this man I met yesterday, the day of the murder, was going over to her house on the night of the murder. Started with a girl. How did it end Jimmy. up like this? We didn't know at the time, but in hindsight, it was after South African girls. Three, to be exact. <laughs> the traveler wanted three. Well, they really should be inherited classes. I guess <laughs> you might call them demons, in as much as they can get inside us. They come from other worlds. There are many universes. It's always these dudes with like a two-year associate's degree in hospitality that are like, oh, you don't know about quantum physics? As much as they can choose it's called string theory, look out. it up. Yes, disturbingly. It's actually a lot more complicated than that. Um, they choose a reality slash universe where they actually evolve to become the person they're possessing. So they jump in a few million years before our timelines <laughs> intersect. Fuck? Strikes me as the kind of guy he like took one too many doses of psychedelics. And you can tell just from his haircut. That's true. I shouldn't be so skeptical considering I'm a shapeshifter to begin with. That's fair enough. We've got to stop meeting like this. <laughs> Seriously, this. Yo, if you want to play the game on hard mode, shapeshift into rain and try to get the romance option with Lexi. You are one creepy. Person. Wow! Do not come back here. Please. <laughs> when rain, when rain calls you creepy, it's time to reevaluate your life choices. People like, is that? That's not funny, Zach. What if Sam heard? <laughs> no. Uh, nope. <laughs> so if you're heading out, you might want to take a jacket or a cap. Or wear the jacket in the cap. That's eight o'clock with Poe and Munro. Don't be pedantic, Poe. Sam. Oh. Um, we've done a reading. What, 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 what? The Five of Swords. That's the same card as yesterday. It's another Five of Swords. Let's hope it's not the Knight of Wands. It's fine. This happens <laughs> Shit. all the time. There are 78 cards in a deck. What are the odds of putting all three again? One in 474,552. Shut the fuck up, Rain. That's the Ten of Swords. It's happening again. There's going to be another murder. Then Lexi did her thing, and now we have a name. Ellis Munro. Nice of you to dress up for your slaying. Now me. Well, hey. You haven't been killed yet. Stop fishing for attention. When we started seeing each other, she didn't... She didn't like him touching her anymore. Maybe she should try something else. What? Is she fucking Oscar in the butt? I said some guys like to watch. So... Killer was in her wardrobe? What? Well then it had to be Oscar. He's the only one it could be. That doesn't make any sense. This is England. He should have been playing soccer. Everyone thinks because I'm on the radio, I have tons of friends, so nobody That's ever... That's the classic me. streamer conundrum. In the arms of the angel. I have thousands of followers and subscribers. Oh, no. And they keep me feeling warm when I'm down, but... 
They're not friends. Preach, sister. Strange dream last night, though. I was a Hollywood actress, and there were hundreds <laughs> of magazines and newspapers uh, oh, you were... off on the red All carpet. right, I see. <laughs> I will protect you. I'm Dorota. I got murdered, and now everybody loves me. Nobody's asking about Monroe. Because everybody knows she's a femme fatale. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Sam? Oh. Do they have to mic up the car door? I always get the shot, Sam. <laughs> what is What a menacing thing to say. She kissed a girl and she liked it. No, okay, I've got it figured out. First off, everybody is doing everybody. That's just a guarantee. This is my goddaughter, Sophia. She's over nine and she's a maths genius. Hello. <laughs> I have to pop That wasn't math at all. I'm the boogeyman. No, you're not. I've seen the boogeyman. I've seen the the boogeyman. Don't look like you. Zero out of ten. Do you want unplayable. Viola was taken by aliens in their ship. This is probably the least flattering angle they could have used. They rearrange us like... That Limp Bizkit song. Well, anyway, do you know Ellis Monroe? Of course. <laughs> Ho and Monroe. Yeah, she sounded blonde on the radio. She sounded blonde on the radio. Ruka. She sounded blonde on the radio. So imagine my surprise. A ride can take many forms, but from what we know about these travelers, it seems to be performing some kind uh -oh. of coming of age ceremony. Are you telling me that the traveler is a nine year old girl who's good at maths? Oh, this time make the card appear in my jacket pocket. This is a very positive card. Yeah, it sounds like a good Friday night. I don't like this, Sam. I don't like this one bit at all. Well, you're not a cop, you're just... In Birmingham, it was a man called Yuri Harris. He beheaded all three girls within hours of each other. He pleaded not guilty for reason of temporary insanity. We know it wasn't him, though. What? We know it was a traveler. Yes, please use me. Tell me what to do. Please, Lexi, have some self-respect. All right, talk to Violet. Ah, oh, Jesus Hello. Christ. Hi, I'm Ellis. I'm Ellis. Now go on the radio and talk about chemtrails. Do you see anything in it when I'm alone enough? I can step into them, move around inside them, like virtual reality, but real. Uh, she should have been nicer to me. And I should make her be nice. Well, um... You're insane. Just need to type three digits into this telephone, if you don't mind. <laughs> Does, um, this mean anything to you? Okay, uh, it's just a little... And what if I showed you... Too precious. And if I do this? You could be a little gentler. No. Anything? Now we'll warg into Chief DuPont and just go to Oscar's house and do it to him. In other news, Monroe has been detained on urgent business, so you're stuck with me until she returns. Slow news day, huh? Never fear, Monroe fans. We still have lots of pre-recordings, so you can relax. With her <laughs> now she is me. <laughs> it's nine o'clock with Poe. Only a madman. I hate this Monroe guy. Monroe is August. This is an American oh, guy who was watched the IT crowd. Started talking in a British accent for the rest of his life. Sam, I've got some heavy rain news. I get it. He was charged with the murder of a 21-year-old artist. Looks like he got off on a technicality by all accounts. What kind of technicality gets you off from a murder charge? Have you seen any strange lights? <laughs> For that matter, little green men, let me know. That's 10 o'clock with Poe. God, I hate this guy. <laughs> Fargo, 1996, 1996, Steve Buscemi looking son of a gun. 
Are you mocking me, Sam? Sorry, I had to click really fast just to get the picture of the feet off the screen before chat could see it. Oh, n what? Did she kill us? <laughs> All right. Um, let's go to our room first. The existence of travelers. They're not ready. Uh, anything I can help with? No, not really. I'll just be fucking myself then. Okay, see you later. Well, I think I understand why Zack is so popular now that I've spent some time with the other men in this town. What? I know where you were last night. I followed you to Dorota's house. You weren't there long, I suppose, but then... I guess it doesn't take you long, does it? I feel defensive, spying on me. but I'm not even... This man. Yeah, I, I always cry around this time of night. Sam. Seems totally normal. If we could just save one person, Sam. Maybe you can start notifying the police. All right. Tell me if you like where my head's at here. What I'm going to do is notify her that she's going to be killed and then leave her alone, unsupervised, in her house, in a small town where everybody knows where everybody lives. Yes on her back in the shape of a monkey. What? Like they've been burned into her. So that's what this is about. Chief Dupont has finally dug up my old record. <laughs> that old murder. It was our third encounter with a traveler. We'd managed to trap her on the roof of an apartment complex. When the traveler realized we had it cornered, it tried to jump off. Honestly, you don't. Once they're caught, a few hours later, they've hopped timelines into someone else. One woman was looking for her daughter, and there was a girl looking for her mum. It was awful. <laughs> oh my god. They're both there, but they could... I thought she didn't put two and two together. Yes. The general She's like, what a coincidence! Let me just draw three cards for you. <laughs> no, not the five of cups. The knight of wands and the ten of swords. That's mysterious. Is there anyone you feel a spark of attraction to? Maybe someone you've met recently. It seems this attraction has the potential to be life-changing. You think she's got a thing she for shapeshifters? And finally. Oh, this is just a picture of me house. naked. I think it's time to tell that someone special. How did that get in there? there? You catch on quickly, don't you, Sam? Well, anyway, see you later. This actress has a real future. How do you know it's going to be soon? If there's sequels that Rachel Weiss doesn't want to be in, she could play the lookalike who's in the movie for like six minutes until she gets hit by a meteor and replaced with a different actress. Like at the start of Austin Powers 2. It turns out Vanessa was a fembot. Yes, we knew all along, sadly. People look like tiny rainbow outlines. And I would notice that some of them would just appear from nowhere. Those ones, the ones from nowhere, I think they're the travelers. So you had like a drug trip and you decided to pursue that for your whole life. But you. So other than staring at it for the rest of the night, I'm out of ideas. I'm just gonna sit here with my amazing haircut and wait for the detective to come back. Violet said she was abducted by aliens. Aliens that decorate. Why would an alien decorate? Perhaps an alien that's not an alien? Well, it's a right, obviously. What? <laughs> but the alien Violet's talking about probably isn't the same traveler. Chief DuPont has urged residents to remain calm and stresses there is almost no chance of anyone else being harmed. <laughs> Ellis, if you're listening, Almost no chance. Let me know you're okay. So when you're... In other news... It was so close to being reassuring. If anybody's listening, please call in. August's gone Gets crazy. quite lonely. I've just got off the phone with someone who thinks... Yeah, let me know in the comments home. down below. Nights, what do you prefer, ones. hamburgers or hot dogs? Put right your answer anyway, in the comments below. Now you're here, it's time. Save her from murder. I'll send Danny over. What do you mean you're sticking me with Danny? Jeez, what? Yeah, what's... <laughs> Chief Dupont? 
The only thing I've ever seen him run after is an ice cream truck. Jesus. <sighs> She might be dead. I don't want to protect her myself. I've got investigations to do. Sam, where the hell are you? On the road? <sighs> Bro, nice V-Tech. That's fine, but Violet... Violet's not fine, Sam. She's been strangled. Bronwyn found the body. Same girl coin in the mouth. Coroner's on the way. Well, no big loss. But they are asking August residents to report any suspicious activity. These are dark times. Now well, some shapeshifter keeps coming around asking me questions. Now, suspicious Monroe like that. Sam, I have some bad news. We've done a group reading. We decided. And it's you. <laughs> oh no! I'm redheaded. I think you've interfered too much. Traveler's Nothing pissed, dude. Target. Be careful. Well, see you later. You've given me a lot of evidence. Enough to arrest someone. <laughs> Is that how that works? Make the right decision. And you should be safe. If we don't, well, we've all got to sleep at some point. Who should I arrest? What? Yeah, who Who do you think, man? I think it's Zach, <sighs> but... Showing that whole thing with Alice, the only people I couldn't keep track of were Rain, Zach, and... and Violet. Yeah, I mean, Zack seems most like Zack, I don't trust him either. He's definitely creepy. I'll go and pick him up myself. With all the information you've given me, I think it'll be enough. Maybe he'll confess, too. That would help. Good luck, Sam. If you've picked the wrong person, you're still in danger. I'll just arrest them all. Maybe it was the aliens. I'm sorry, sorry. That was in bad taste. <laughs> I feel like I'm about um, to be killed. Bronwyn asked me to check that you're okay, and you seem to be. Well, my 43-hour shift is coming and to an so end. That's my fortitude. I see things in shadows, behind doors and under desks. I hear the chattering of teeth and the glee of insects waiting to feed on me. <laughs> this studio undulates like a heart that... Beats its life. I get it, you read no sleep. 214. Oh my god. I'm definitely dead. Hello, sleepyhead. I'm so glad to see you alive. What? Travelers don't like being incarcerated, so they'll have jumped realities already. The shell they've left behind will remember what they've done. And spend a life in prison. All we can do is try and stop the next one. Seems pretty Sam, fucked up. Come with us, please. We could really use someone like you and... So my two options are traveling tarot card reader or my home is in August now. <laughs> yeah, sure, let's go. Really? Oh! We can leave this afternoon. Plus, Sam, Violet's dead, so. Thank you. I think We're our stay just got lives. comped. Hey, sweet cheeks. You did good. Real good. You win. Alexi hug. <laughs> Sam. I'm just going to say it because you only live once and all that. Sam. I think I've fallen for you. That's it. That's all I wanted to say. It's out there now. We can get on with our lives. You too? I'm the happiest girl in the world. We have some catching up to do. What? Sam, you're safe. Thank Christ. <laughs> I just came back to say goodbye, man. Yeah, why not? Nothing makes sense. Yeah, kiss her too. I think you'd leave without saying goodbye. People do horrible things to people every day. I'm just glad that someone like you are around to save us. I mean, everyone needs a little saving from time to time. I'm dying. Are you telling me 
This was like a it was like a dating sim the whole time. Bye, Sam. No, we're going back for seconds. Thanks, Chief. And I've stuck to my word. That problem you had, I buried it. The coroner's report is going to say the woman was dead when you arrived, not after. You're a good person, Sam. At least that's definitely how it looks from the outside. What? Oh, I just love cello. I love all <laughs> string instruments, but cello is rich and deep. Hey, Lou, they didn't uh, tell me anything about my character <laughs> except that I love the cello, okay? No, cello is I just love the cello. But my real passion is... The, the cello. It's silly. It sounds silly. I'm just well, messing. It's the cello. I, would like I want to go back in time. I want to make better choices. Not the cello, though. You know why you're here, don't you? <sighs> because you did well. And you know what happens when you do well? Augmentation. Congratulations, Agent 3.13. <laughs> Welcome to... 3.14. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> yeah, sure. Enter secret debriefing. Whatever. Debriefing 3204, Birmingham. Transmit. And we're ready. Are you human? Um. Yes. Debrief complete. Agent ready. Am I fucking dying? What is happening? What were you doing Monday night? Yeah! What were you doing Monday night? What were you doing Monday night? And the beat goes. What were you doing Monday night? What were you doing Monday night? What were you doing Monday night? And the beat goes. Why weren't the police protecting Dorota? What were you doing Monday night? Why weren't the police protecting Dorota? And the beat goes. 